Hello friends, in this video I am going to show you how to get the network location or cell location from your SIM 900 or SIM 800 GSM modules. SIM 900 or SIM 800 GSM modules provide a set of 80 commands which can be used to get the course location which is not so correct compared to a GPS location but it can be useful if you want to find out where your device is installed, in which city is installed or in which area it is installed. How this feature works is SIM 900 retrieves the location of the network tower which is connected to and gives the coordinates of uh, that network tower which might help us in understanding uh, where the device is installed or in which city or in which area the device is installed. The location is not accurate compared to the GPS location but if you don't have an extra GPS on board you can always use this cell location feature to get the approximate location of the device. Now let us open this document. This feature makes use of the GPRS connection so you need to set up the APN username and password. Let's start by the first command 80 plus SAPBR is equal to 3 comma 1 comma con type GPRS and uh, APN name 80 plus SAPBR is equal to a comma one comma APN. I will use the APN www. Then I will enable the GPRS connection. Eighty plus is a PBR is equal to one comma one. My network is a little slow. It takes some time to connect. Okay, it's connected now. Now let's check. Now let's check if an IP address is allocated. Eighty plus is a PBR is equal to two. One. Okay, we have been allocated an IP address and we can connect to the network now. Now there are two commands uh, related to the GSM location feature. Uh, one is the AT plus CIP GSM LOC is equal to comma one, which will only give us the date and time of the network. Okay, there is a network error. T plus C I P G S M looks is equal to two comma one. Okay, this is how you will get the current date and the current time. Right now it's eleven thirty seven year, but it's showing uh, eighteen zero seven. If we add the uh, you know time zone of uh, India 530 it will be correct. Now the other command is 80 plus CIP GSM LOC is equal to 1 comma 1. This command will give us the GPS coordinates of the nearby tower. So this is the location. Let's find out where the location is in Google Maps. First is latitude then is longitude. Okay, this is the location it's showing. Actually, my current location is here at this point. So the error is around uh, how much around 474.24 meters. So this is how you can get the approximate area uh, or the you know nearby location of the device. Now let us try to disconnect and connect again. A plus SA PBR is equal to 0, 0,1 will disconnect the GPRS context. Now T plus SAPBR is equal to 1 comma 1. Okay, IP addresses has been allocated. Now AT plus CIP GSM LOC is equal to 1 comma 1. So this command should give us the latitude and longitude. 
actually it has not changed it's the same location which was given before this location remains the same to i'm not sure whether it uses the gsm triangulation means uh, it uses uh, uh, signals coming from three sources and uh, tries to triangulate its position i think it's more of a network tower location and these uh, lo location coordinates are hard coded in the network towers uh, server and uh, the device just retrieves that location from the server and presents here uh, so that's how you get the cell location of the sim 900 or sim 800 gsm modules this might be very helpful when you are using your gsm modules for gps tracking application and your gps signal will not be available uh, indoors and you can always use the uh, network location or the cell location to find out where approximately where your device is located so that's all i guess thank you for watching